Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, I want to give you a very simple, uh, simple invitation today, and that is go below the surface. Don't just exist here, but dive a little bit deeper. Go below the surface. I, I grew up in Huntington Beach. Uh, I grew up in a surf town, and something that started to really grow up uh, kind of after my day was skimboarding. People will actually take these nice flat boards, they'll throw them on the shore, and they'll actually skim these things into the waves and actually catch a wave. It's, it's fascinating to watch. But a skimboarder, basically the concept is you stay on top of the water. If the tip of that board goes under the water, you're going you're gonna to fall. The idea is to stay on top of the water. So skimboarding gives you a great experience, uh, kind of a rush on top of the water. Scuba diving, totally different. You put on your tank and you go under, you dive deep. So if you ask a skimboarder, tell me about all the amazing sea life underneath you, they'd say, I have no clue. Why? I ride the surface. Uh, if you ask a scuba diver, tell me about what's under the water, they're going to go, oh. And they will describe colors and beauty and things that, that you don't see when you're skimming on the top. Now, I'm not comparing them to and saying one's good or bad, but one of them will take you to a deeper place where you see things in a deeper way. Keep that picture in your mind as you listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. You get the picture? There's people who, whose hearts, there's just a depth of stuff in there that if you skim over the top, you'll never get to it. The purpose of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. There's ways you can kind of help draw out of a person the deeper things of who they are, of what they're about, what their dreams are, what their vision is for life, who they are as a person. I have three boys. Uh, two of them are the type that will, you, if, you get to, if you met them and got to know them, you'd get to know a lot about them. They'll, you have a conversation, they'll tell their story, they'll, they'll, they're, just, they're kind of open about their lives. My middle son, his name is Joshua, Josh, um, is a very deep person. But you're not going to find that out if you skim over his life. you got to stop. you got to get to know him. you got to ask questions. My middle son, Josh, is very quiet, but he is wicked funny. Uh, my, my other two boys would say he's way funnier than I am, but nobody would think that because he doesn't let that out very often. And if you try to get him to perform and be funny, forget it. He's going to lock down. He's going to shut down. He's not, there's none of that. You're not, he's not going to be your, 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 your chimp doing this, the little show for you. He's going to, you know, it's going to be inside. But if you get to know him, if you go deeper, if you slow down, if you ask questions, there's a depth of kindness and humor and insight that you'll never get if you skim over the top. Listen to this passage one more time. Proverbs 20, verse 5. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters. Everyone, there's things deeper down. Some people, there's maybe more than others. But all of us have stuff that's deeper down. But the one who has insight draws them out. Who has God put in your life that is quieter? That, that if you're moving too quickly or skimming over the top, you're not going to get down to who they are. But if you slow down and if you draw out those deep waters, if you ask the right questions, if you or I will stop talking long enough to let them talk, you'll say, man, there's a lot there. There's, there's an old saying, still waters run deep. You have people in your life like that. And I would encourage you this week to make a point of slowing down, paying attention, asking that person great questions, listening more than you do, and discover all the wonder and beauty that God has put in that person that maybe you wouldn't pick up on if you didn't take your time and kind of dip down into that well of who they are. Will you pray with me? God, we each have people in our lives who are wonderful, beautiful, they have things to offer, and uh, they're never going to volunteer those things uh, in a crowd of people. Uh, they're not going to share those things unless they're asked a question by somebody who really means it and who really listens. But Lord, we do ourselves a great service and we bless other people when we can slow down and to draw out of them those deep things that are there. Help us become those kind of people in all of our relationships, but especially, Lord, those people who tend to be quieter. And Lord, if we're one of those kind of people, I pray that, that we would others take the time to ask us good questions, that we would share who we are. We would let the depths of who we are come to the surface and we share the, those things with others. We pray this, Jesus, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining us. If you're part of a local church, I want to challenge you. Jump into your church life this weekend. Be part of the body of Christ. Pray, worship, learn, give, serve. Be part of the church. If you're part of Shoreline Church, do the same. If you're part of Shoreline, we'll see you this coming Sunday at 9 or 11 on campus or online. God bless you. Have a great day.